In this video, I'll go over how I've got my personal tick tick set up to begin 2022. I'll go over how I'm using the lists, how I'm using tags, and how I'm using or not using filters. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, so here's how I have myself set up to begin the year 2022. I don't really need to explain the first two lists. Those are standard tick tick lists, but I do utilize them. So the inbox, um, I add tasks or notes to the inbox. I email in tasks and then I go through and I process the inbox, taking those tasks and placing them in the proper list that they belong. The today view uh, is where I spend most of my time at in tick tick. I use the due date field on most of my tasks. And as they come due, they show up in the today view. And so that I know I need to work on that today. I'll also add tasks to the today view. So if I know I'm going to do laundry today, I might just add it from the today view. And that task will automatically get added to the inbox, but it also shows up on my today view, which again is where I'm working most of the day. So I'm looking at this today view and I see, okay, well, I need to start laundry. I also need to input home maintenance tasks into TickTick, -tick. um, so that's on my list to do today. So now going down the left side to the more personalized list, the first one is goals. Uh, so for 2022, I'm taking the approach of planning for just the first three months, and then I'll plan for the next three months, so a quarter at a time. I'm not going to set any um, New Year's resolutions per se, or, or even any yearly goals, but what I'm planning to do is set goals for every three months. So that's what I've got in my goals list. So for this first quarter of 2022, uh, I'm looking at two things. Uh, we started a bathroom upgrade last year and we need to finish that bathroom upgrade. That's my first goal for this first quarter. The second goal is to pay off my credit card. So, you know, as we got into the holiday season, it's easy to use the credit card and I wanna make sure that I pay that off in the first quarter of 2022. So those are my two primary goals for the first quarter, and that's what I have in this goals list. So the next list we have is actually a folder called projects, and I can expand that folder and it contains all of the, what I consider work projects. I have my day job projects and my personal projects, or you might call them side hustles or whatever, uh, all in the same place, and that's within my project list. So you can see I've got my blog, I've got a newsletter that I've, I'm starting, uh, my YouTube channel, which you're seeing here, uh, JB Printing Press, that's something I'm trying out on Etsy, we'll see if that works out or not, along with all of my actual work projects that I need to do for my, for my real job. I have it all in the same place within projects. Now I used to separate my projects a little bit more distinctly, work from personal. Um, but I found that to be a little bit cumbersome, and at the end of the day, it's all really work, uh, so I shouldn't necessarily treat it any differently as far as uh, planning and uh, task management goes. So that's what I've got under my projects list. My next list is tasks. Now, tasks are things for me that don't belong to any particular project, so they're just kind of a freestanding task. Um, a one-off task that needs to be done. And again, these can be either work or personal for me. So for example, the one you saw that was on my today view, input home maintenance tasks in TickTick, -tick, that's something I have as a task to do, and it's under my tasks uh, list. I've also got register kids for summer camps, and I've got a due date of January 15th on that one. You know, in years past, uh, we've waited too long to register kids for summer camps, and then by the time we get around to it, all the cool camps already filled up. So this year I created a task in TickTick, -tick, put a due date on it so we can get ahead of the curve and maybe we won't register on January 15th for any particular camps, but we can start planning to see what's out there. So one of the other tasks I'll point out is my weekly review. It's a recurring task that I have uh, recur every Friday and it contains a checklist of items that I'll do as part of my weekly review. And I'll try to do these in order. So I'll process my physical inbox, then I'll go through and process my email inboxes, and that contains both work and personal email inboxes. Uh, I'll process my tick tick inbox, uh, 
Then I'll take some time and review all of my tasks and projects, make sure that I've got all of my tasks up to date, all of my projects have the right tasks in the next action. I do use TickTick's habit tracker, so I'll go through and look at the prior week's habits and see how I did. And finally, I have fill out a weekly log, which I've described a little bit in a previous video called using a secret feature and a weekly log to track completed tasks in TickTick. And I'll link to that video uh, in the description. And so that kind of wraps up the weekly review and that wraps up the tasks list. The next list I have is chores. Now, these are somewhat similar to tasks, but normally these are, they could be recurring chores. So I have clean the fish tank, that happens every Friday. I need to put out the trash cans, that happens every Tuesday. But I also put other things on here, for example, like doing the laundry. Um, if I'm planning ahead of time and not just adding it to the today view, I might add it in here to the chores section. I don't like to mix those types of chore tasks with actual work tasks. And then I also have a home maintenance list, which I'm somewhat still building out. Uh, but in this one I have sections, so I have things that should happen every month. So test the smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. I should do that every month. And then I have a winter, spring, summer, and fall section of things that we need to do around the house to make sure that we maintain the house in good order. Uh, so I'm still filling this out, and that's why you've seen that task show up on my today view. Um, because I still need to fill some of this out. So moving on down the left side, the next list is reference, which is kind of just like it sounds. Um, this is a list of notes, not tasks. And this list is a little bit small right now because I've just started experimenting with uh, keeping my notes in Tick Tick. I'm trying to compile all of my notes at this point into this reference list in Tick Tick. So this may evolve over time as well. And some of these are notes uh, using Tick Tick, and some of them are just uh, scanned in notes. So, for example, this one is a note that I took offline, and then I just scanned it into Tick Tick, put it in this note as an attachment so that I can reference it uh, and I know where it is. So, moving on down the left side, the next list is gift ideas, and this is just kind of a temporary list. Um, it is getting close to Christmas time, and so these are just possible gift ideas that I've jotted down over the last several weeks as things have come up and I think, oh, that might be a good gift, especially for my wife. Um, so I put them in this gift ideas list for now. And then after Christmas is over, I'll probably delete this list. Okay, the next one is someday maybe. So this comes from getting things done, right? These are things that I'm thinking about. Um, maybe I wanna review them from time to time, but I'm not taking any action on them right now. So primarily these relate to our house. Um, so we want to finish the attic at some point. We want to bathroom remodel. Now this one probably needs to be updated because I am taking action and this is now in my uh, first quarter goals as we saw. So, uh, and then the last one, replace a cast iron P-trap in the basement. That's a plumbing issue that uh, I need to take care of at some point before it becomes a disaster. And the final list I have over here is weekly logs. And this came from the uh, weekly review checklist. And again, this weekly logs is something I've described in a previous video called using a secret feature and weekly log to track completed tasks in Tick Tick, which I'll link to. So I won't go into detail here on the weekly logs. So that completes the lists that I have. The thing I want to go through today is the tags that I have set up. And I don't have too many tags. So I use the waiting tag anytime that I have a task that I'm keeping track of, but for the time being, I can't take any action on it because um, I'm waiting on a response from somebody else or something like that. So I tag it as waiting. My other tag that I use primarily is needs response. Now this relates to emails that come in. So if I get an email that comes in and I need to take some action on it, I might forward it into TickTick -tick or I might just add a task to TickTick. -tick. Um, but I'll tag it as needs response, meaning there's an email related to it. And once I've completed the task, I should respond to that email. So that's how I use that tag. And then, so the other tags I have is a list of agendas. Now I've masked some of the names here for privacy. I use agendas in the spirit of GTD. So if I have a task that I'm working on and then I decide, well, I probably should talk to somebody about that task. I go ahead and tag that task with their name. And then the next time that I'm talking to them, either in chat or on the phone, I can just pull up their list under the agendas tags and I get all the items that I was supposed to talk to that person about. 
And so that wraps up how I use uh, the different tags. So right now I don't have any use for any custom filters within TickTick. And so that kind of wraps up how I'm using or not using uh, lists, tags, and filters within TickTick. And that'll wrap up this video. I've gone over how I have my TickTick set up to begin year 2022. Hopefully when you watch it, you get a few ideas. As the year progresses, uh, no doubt uh, this system is gonna change and evolve. And I think that's good to some extent to always be looking for ways to improve things, improve your system, um, but not get into the habit of always changing. Um, so have some balance and make sure that you're not spending more time perfecting your system than you are doing actual work. Uh, but I think that's possible and I think we should still look to improve uh, where we can. But that's my system as it stands right now to begin 2022. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.